Okay, so this is just a, uh, this video is going to, well, it just serves a number of purposes. It's just going to be a quick little Lucid Spark video, but it's also going to go into a post to compare the uploading speeds between YouTube, uploading and processing speeds between YouTube and between Google Drive. Um, and so I figured I'd make a very quick video about something. I needed something to do, so Lucid Spark has been on my mind lately, so, um, yeah. Here we are, Lucid Spark. And uh, so, all right, so here is Lucid Spark. Now, I've shared it with uh, my personal email account, and that's what that is up here. Um, but over here, we have our tools. So we have a selection, we have a you know text tool, and you can type whatever you want. And you notice that you can you can change the font, like you can I can highlight all this and I can change the font. And as you can see, it changes as it goes. Trying that's kind of neat. Uh, strike you got you got you know bold italics, all the simple stuff. Um, text color, you know size. Um, you can make it a link. Um, it, what's nice is is that other people can add a reaction to it and you can tag it. And we'll talk more about that here in a second. Um, we have our sticky notes, and they're pretty simple. You know, you just draw it here, and you can. Hello, right? Uh, I'm going to come on over here. Now I'm using the space bar to navigate around. Uh, and what I want to do is I'm going to come back to the sticky notes. Now they have something here called Quick Sticky, Quick Sticky. And if you type here, and let's say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that one. And let's say I have a project coming up. Um, about where we're um, going to be deploying uh, new software and so we need to install it on all of our teacher computers so um, so let's say here and then that's one and then let's say middle school and then here uh, lower school uh, and then here uh, get license um, Um, so as you, well, it should be PD, not PF here, but I can quickly go in there. But as you can see, you can make a whole bunch of stickies very, very, very quickly with that quick sticky tool. And if you ever want to go away from it, you just click this little thing right here and you're back to your regular stickies. Um, here, your different shapes, you have a whole bunch of shapes, which are nice. Um, here are, well, you can just draw lines, but what's also neat here is if I want to, I can draw a line and connect it to another object. Now it doesn't have to be a sticky note, it can be a shape, it can be text, um, it can be whatever you want. I'm going to undo it with Command Z or Control Z and then of course here you've got your your freehand tool. Obviously I'm using a mouse to do this but let's say you had an interactive screen where you can draw on it, maybe a stylus. This could be a little bit more useful. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of a lag here with it um, but I don't know how big of a deal that would be. Uh, down here we have our containers. Now this allows you to quickly sort and organize based on tags that you've given. We'll talk about that. And then here are a whole bunch of templates and I mean look, look there's there's so many templates here. Uh, flowchart, empathy map, dot voting. I mean there, there's just a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, affinity diagrams really 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 good for like like uh, getting things done um, Kanban board another very good thing uh, I'm going to insert that template and as you can see it doesn't insert you got this and you just kind of have to like draw it or just click it and it adds it in there uh, I'm going to undo that I don't want that there right now um, <clears throat> now down here uh, we have kind of our undo and redo stuff, so I can undo that, I can redo that. Um, a revision history, this is for premium. Um, I kind of wish that was for free, but it's not a big deal. Um, here you can make it full screen, which obviously hides all this stuff. Um, this is your zoom out, and your zoom in, and these are all predefined, but of course if you wanted to, I think you can, you can, um, like if I'm using my trackpad, yeah, I can zoom in to specific ones using my trackpad. It's not a, it's it's real easy. And uh, and 
And you can use your keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, uh, control with the plus key or command with the plus key on a Mac, um, which is really nice. But what I really, really like is this thing here. It's a mini map. And you bring it up and you have a mini map and you can kind of go to whatever section you want. And really, this is a limitless um, board here. It can be as big or as small as you want. And the mini map can, can quickly go through it, which is great. Um, up over here, um, these are your team tools. Again, these are all premium. You have to pay for them, uh, but you can add a timer. I think it's great when you're having a bunch of people, especially remotely, and you're saying, hey, I need you to work on this one task. You guys are working on this task. You guys are working on this task, and you have this much time to get it, to kind of get it done, and then we're going to come back and we're going to share our ideas a voting, which is great, collaborator colors, so you can assign certain colors to certain users, and when they make comments or when they add comments, it, it shows up with that color. I Again, this is a free one. If you try to click on it, it's like, hey, you, but it seems pretty cool. Um, comments, I wish this was included in the free version. It seems like it would be very helpful. You do have this notepad where everybody can collaborate. Great for putting agendas and putting your goals up there, whether they're long-term goals or short-term goals. I think this is a, a great feature, and I wish to see it in, um, in more products, not just in Lucid products. Uh, share. You can share it with people. You just type in their email address. Um, this, I think, is really, really kind of neat. Uh, you can show the collaborator cursor. Um, you can call others to me. Oh, that's a that's a, so wherever you are, um, they can they'll get a notification. They click a button and it goes to where you are. But let's say I want to know where this person is. All I have to do is click on their icon, and it takes me right to them. And it says I'm following. So I'm going to jump over to another screen here. Now you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to this has a here I'm just gonna move around the, the map is what I'm gonna do and as you can see it follows that person around so I think this is great if somebody wants to present some ideas or walk people through some some thoughts or something that they're planning that they have that and you know you can see as you can see you can see the cursor there moving around which I think is great and I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna say stop and then here is the chat and again I I wish either the chat or the comments were free. And if I had to choose between the two, I would choose comments to be free. But, you know, Lucid's, Lucid's you know, it's a business. they got to make money. I totally get it. Um, despite those wish lists for the, for the free, I think it's a great product here. Um, obviously, up here, uh, you can rename it. It's, it lets you know if it's been saved. Uh, you hit here. You can make a new board. You can insert a lucid chart and if you never use lucid chart it's great images uh, I love all the exporting PNG with transparent background PNG PDF JPEG it's, it's great you can duplicate it you can print it off where it will resize everything um, you got how you know, basic stuff here account settings log out great to find that stuff here and of course if you click here it takes you back to your document page kind of like your dashboard um, so there you go. That's about a nine-minute video. I think that's a good video, a good test for uploading. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, there you go. I'm going to stop the recording now.